A lot of people have switched to these reusable water bottles to help save the environment. That's mine. I have it everywhere I go. But a new study says they can be breeding grounds for germs. KPIX 5's John Ramos says it's not always a bad thing. It's a hot day at Heather Farms Park in Walnut Creek, so eight-year-old Everett is drinking a lot of water from his trusty bottle. And he's pretty chill about it. Okay. I'm filling a tub with water, even though I haven't cleaned it in a few weeks. And I'm like, I'll be fine. But across the park, 10 year old Bianca Santini thinks it's crazy to drink from an unwashed bottle. Some uh, bacteria and allergy can like kill us. She may have learned that from a much publicized study by the website Treadmill Reviews, which analyzed various reusable sport bottles and found most to be a breeding ground for bacteria. The average unwashed bottle contained more than 300,000 bacterial units per cubic centimeter more than what's in your average pet's water bowl. It's pretty scary stuff. There's just one problem with it. It's really not science. Dr. Lee Riley at UC Berkeley School of Public Health says bacteria are everywhere, and just because an object contains them doesn't make it dirty. Uh, container bottles, and uh, any sort of environment, you're always gonna find some sort of bacteria. Is it uh, dangerous? No, they have absolutely no uh, health uh, significance. He says people often confuse bacteria with viruses, which can be dangerous. But our bodies actually need a steady flow of bacteria to stimulate the immune system and aid in proper digestion. You know, if we don't have these kind of bacteria in our intestine, uh, we won't, it will be very, very unhealthy. Are we just too clean these days? Yeah, I think so. We're overdoing it. In fact, bacteria are not only a part of us, they are an equal part. The average human body contains about as many bacteria cells as it does normal body cells, which means we are only half human after all. And getting a few more bacteria from our water bottles probably will not kill us. In Walnut Creek, John Ramos, KPIX 5.